Well, hi there and welcome to Movie Juice. This is where you can find out what's on at the movies and some good stuff to see at your place on your movie network too. We'll take a look at that in a moment. First, let's see what's hogging headlines this week. Emma Roberts will see a familiar face on her latest project. She's joined the cast of Valentine's Day, a multi-storyline romantic comedy starring Emma's auntie, Julia Roberts. It'll be their first film together. Topher Grace has also joined the cast as a mailroom worker dating the girl played by Anne Hathaway. Also on board, Jessica Alba, Jessica Biel, Jennifer Garner and Ashton Kutcher. Hollywood is alive with rumours about a Michael Jackson movie with a lot of speculation about who would play the king of pop at the various stages of his lifelong career. It's a tough casting call. Lots of African-American stars could mimic MJ's singing and dancing, and the best bet would be to cast a total unknown. Stay tuned. Superman, the super dude with his super tight undies, worn on the outside of the rest of his clothing, may be getting a total rethink when it comes to the next big movie. Brandon Routh's contract has expired, and while this easily typecast actor would love to be Superman again, there's no guarantee that he'll be the one to fly. Lucky Country is a terrific Australian thriller that is bound to attract awards attention come AFI time later this year. Director on the rise, Creve Stenders, has created a spooky, enthralling journey into the plight of pioneers in the Australian wilderness and how gold fever can shake a person's grip on reality. A bit of gold can change your life or end it. You can find out more about it from the horse's mouth. Here's my interview with the enigmatic lead actor Aidan Young and director Creve Stenders. A sick boy here. Won't last long if we don't get some shelter for the night. Look, we could help you out a bit. Dad! That's pretty good! Let's bag something back for the working man, shall we? Interesting kid. Doesn't deserve a man like that for a father. How would you sum up the story of Lucky Country? It's a pot-boiling, rollicking, great story, um, fantastic, thrilling ride. It's got thrills, chills and spills and it's got ideas. And Tom Cruise <laughs> makes a camera. He's brilliant. He's brilliant. Everything all right, Tom? With the farm? With your dad? Always do the right thing, do you? I do what's necessary. I think we've been quite successful with this one to, to look at a story about Australian history and not say, OK, well, we're going to gloss over it and we're going to you know, do a painting that we've all seen before. We're going to use every element of a McCubbin and so forth, but we're not going to tell that story. We're going to tell a different story. And I think that by marrying the, um, the thriller aspect into a, a story such as this, it, it really provides the audience with a terrific ride through what is essentially a horrific truth of this country's history. There's nothing you won't do if the time is right. Is that theme of home something that you were consciously trying to achieve? Because it seems like everyone in the film is searching for some kind of home. Yeah, I mean, home, um, a place, an ideal, a belief. And it's really about how that ideal can get corrupted and poisoned by the lure of gold, money, desire, lust, anything, and um, but it's really about this boy staying true to this this dream or this this very pure idea of, of being true to, um, you know, the idea of, of, a, of a place and of living simply and of working hardly, hard, hard and, um, yeah, of not being corrupted. You'll understand in time, son. It's just the way of the world. For this, to me, is what New Australia means. To the landless, the homeless. Tom. To those who long to be manly, to be true, to be what men should be. Bet you thought it was going to be all Henry Bloody Lawson, didn't you? If you're feeling lucky and you want to see Lucky Country for free, we have 20 double passes to give away to Movie Juice viewers. And scoring one is as easy as heading to the website moviejuice.tv. Hit the win button, give us a few details and answer this question in 25 words or less. What is it about Australia that makes it the luckiest country in the world? 
To Be or Not To Be is the show on Movie Extra that will surprise, delight and even shock some people. It's about the ten plays that make it to the gala final of Short and Sweet, which is the biggest little play festival in the world. This week you can see Ep 4 and a great ten minute play called Chocolate Face. It's a comedy about racism and sex. Okay, in the interview, the marketing director says to me, oh wow, Kelly, what shampoo is that? It's just so lovely and spicy. Well, that's it. Oh, this is a woman that knows 300 variations on the word pretty and spicy is the best she can do. Uh, Come on, Vic, we know what spicy means. Spicy means bindaloo. <laughs> well, look, that'll teach you getting your shampoo from Bombay. Eh? <laughs> and it's Mumbai. <laughs> yeah, well, same say. <laughs> The great thing about the show To Be or Not To Be is that it takes you onto the stage to see how theatre people work, then it takes you off stage to see how they carry on. Let's have sex. No, hey, come on. Like it's what? going really well. We, we, we're getting there. Like? I just, I like to think that. But um, really, honestly, I don't know. Today should be an interesting rehearsal because uh, it's going to be hard for me to focus. Adding to the drama is the fact that all the plays are competing for some big prizes, so everyone is acting their butts off. It's seriously good viewing. See it 10.30 Friday night, only on Extra. With a title like The Escapist, it's got to be about getting out of something. This time, it's jail. A convict who got life without parole learns his daughter is ill and wants to make peace with her before it's too late. I don't think it's going to be a clean getaway. You'll see some similarities to Shawshank Redemption and the TV show Prison Break. I want her Brody. No, no, I want... Not sex. No. My first letter in 14 years. I gotta see her. I gotta make things right. The air vents in the laundry. Would they connect to a sewer? Yeah. We've got another competition for you this week and we have 20 double passes for you to see The Escapist on the big screen. You know the drill, go to moviejuice.tv, hit the win button, tell us your name etc and answer this question in no more than 25 words. What has been the biggest escape you've made in your life? OK, well, that's it for Movie Juice for now. Love being at your place and I want to do it again real soon. Remember to try your luck at scoring those free movie tickets. Go to moviejuice.tv. See you next time.